dark and brooding edgy boys. Rioters are, believe it or not, one of the more mysterious quote-unquote factions in the game. Who are they? Who is their leader? And how many Alexes are there? Anyway, let's get into it. Before starting, let me mention that there isn't a whole lot of information on the rioters, so don't come in with big expectations. But there is some interesting information out there. The rioters are groups of common, ordinary citizens turned thugs who have responded to the breakdown of society. They aren't necessarily an organized faction as they don't have a leader and they more so consist of separate gangs led by an individual leader, for example Hitch or 5 -0. They're more of a loose collection of individuals and have enemies in all factions. The lack of leadership is noticeable though. Regroup was 20 minutes ago. What took you so long? <sighs> Sorry man, I ran into some trouble and had to take a detour. So what did you bring back? I got nothing. There were too many, man. I had to drop it and run. I nothing. You think this is some kind of welfare gig? You think we put our asses on the line so you can get protection and a free meal? Um, no. I'm sorry. Get your shit together or you're gonna find out what it's like to be on the outside looking in. Got no room for dead weight. That's your last warning. They dress in basic clothing like jeans and hoodies, often completed with a bandana in front of the mouth and nose. Besides that, the different classes, lurkers, daredevils, bruisers, lookouts, heavies and sprayers have relatively low tier weaponry, from the low caliber pistols to simple carbine snipers or an RPK-74 at best. All in all, they can be considered the weakest faction, but this doesn't mean they aren't a threat. Their belief is that the green poison brought back an unwritten rule of nature, survival of the fittest, meaning that they will do anything to survive. Some have some amazing dreams though, like eating steak. So, what you gonna do when this is all over, I mean? Oh, I'm gonna get me a sweet ride and just roll west. And when I get to Cali, I'm gonna fly me a nice piece of ass and show him how we do it East Coast style. Oh man, you could totally do that. Or that chick from the movie? The one with cars? Oh yeah, he'd appreciate a fine car and the fine lady driving it. I just roll up like, yo baby, I'll take you places. <laughs> Man, that's sweet. Me? I just want steak. That's all you got? All the dreams in the world and all you got is steak? I like steak. In order to get what they want, rioters do about anything they want. This is seen as they are terrorizing unarmed citizens, but also in opposing the JTF. It starts in Brooklyn's Precinct Siege, where the rioters have taken control of the NYPD police station and locked up police men and women. We, as part of the second wave of the SHD, came in, freed the officers, defeated their leader, Ripper, and got rid of the rest of the rioters. Moving on to Manhattan, we're setting up the FOB or Forward Operating Base, better known as our Base of Operations. Here a small group of rioters under the command of their leader Poole are attacking the JTF. Poole by the way was a special lurker as he carried an L86 LSW, which makes him more of a unique character in the game. Our job was to stop them and fire up the Base of Operations, which we did. Following this event, the JTF were leaving the Madison Square Garden. The rioters saw this as an opportunity. Hey, pack your stuff. We're going to the garden. What? I thought that place was locked down. Not anymore. JTF's pulling out. Everybody's getting together and we're gonna take the place over. Let's so pack your shit, man. You don't want to get left behind? Oh, uh, holy shit. Is this for real? Oh, hell yeah. And you better sack up this time. I can't cover for you if you won't pull the trigger. Not again. All right. And that goes for anyone who gives you trouble. Cops, GTF, civilians, anyone. They get in your way, they're gone. We needed to rescue Dr. Kendall and other Sarah staff at the Madison Field Hospital mission. The Madison Square Garden was turned into a hospital by the JTF. Kendall and the other Sarah workers were on their shift when it got taken over by rioters. 
they held Kendall and her crew hostage because they needed a doctor for their own people. This eventually led to a showdown with their gang leader, Hutch, on top of the roof of the Madison Square Garden. After defeating them here, the final organized mission, with an absolute insane number of rioters, was at the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint. Captain Benitez, later to be called Chief of Security, was managing this checkpoint as it functioned and still functions as a supply base for the JTF to get food, medicine and weapons. It is the main supply base as it's the only checkpoint leading out of Manhattan. However, the checkpoint was besieged by Finch, the leader of the rioters at that time, and his armed gang. Their goal was to destroy the floodgate, which would cut off the supply line. After their failed attempt though, they shut down the entrance with an RPG as they stormed the building with a few dozen enemies in order to retrieve the supplies behind the walls. Not successfully though, because after that Finch, a lookout was taken out, which ended the rioters last operation. Though the JTF has beaten the rioters time and time again, the rioters are even more scared of another faction. The hell happened out there? The whole city's gone nuts! Thought I had this group of kids locked out, pulled up behind them and put the gun right in their faces, but instead of handing everything over, they f frickin' drew on me! I almost got away, but then this other kid jumps down from a fire escape and hits me in the face with a bat! Yeah, I think you lost some teeth. Unbelievable. How are we supposed to make it when even kids go around with guns and baseball bats? What kind of sick world are we living in? Besides this, the rioters haven't really been active, as they simply weren't strong enough to oppose the JTF. Of course, in the HVT missions and the free roam area, including the light zone, they were still lurking around. Naming them would be too much, but some can be recognized like 5-0, Frey and Strinx. Besides that, the rioters also appear in the dark zone as this lawless area is perfect for them. If you don't know, they are most prominent in dark zone 1 and 2, with a few bosses ranging up to 3 and 4, if you ever need it for the daily dark zone assignment. And with that, we're at the end of the video already. In my opinion, rioters are an interesting and logical faction or collection of individuals. To be in a post-pandemic New York, Massive Entertainment was smart to mainly put them at the start of the game since it doesn't make sense to have amazingly powerful enemies with simple gear and outfits. But I want to know, what is your opinion on the rioters? Do you like them or don't you? Do you agree with their point of view or lies your heart with another faction? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I'm leaving you. Peace out.